Hey guys, so I wanted to address just uh, real quick a couple of things. Uh, Follow-up is so, so important. So you're going to hear a lot about like two, two, two. So uh, the first two is just to say thank you within the first two days. The second two is two weeks. And so after two weeks, we basically just want to follow up and say, hey, uh, did you get everything okay? Did your shipment come? Do you know how to use everything? Whatever. So often people are going to say, oh, it came, but I haven't even opened the box yet, which I'm like, are you crazy? Because I used mine immediately. I was so excited. And then again, after two months, we want to follow up again and we want to just say, you know, did, did you have a chance to use it? Do you have any questions? Whatever. Um, you know, the, the truth of it is people can buy cleaning products. They can buy microfiber, not necessarily Norwex, but um, they can buy these things in a lot of different places. But the benefit to using or to, to purchasing through an independent sales rep through direct sales is um, the education and the customer service and so that's what we're here for so and it's a great opportunity to be able to just connect with people and let them know that they're not on their own and you know no one's an island especially not in this business so um so yeah so when i first got started um i was pretty good about it and we talked about like how to find your orders and you know your your order history and all of that stuff but what do you really use that for and so uh, people have come up with a lot of different ways of dealing with it it might be in a paper calendar it might be in a google calendar it might be just a list that you keep um people use all different kinds of things i was taught this system a long time ago i'm not even sure what um what consultant taught me but it was a norwex person um and there's probably a video on youtube because um some i think somebody just shared it with me and it was genius so i was like oh i could totally do this so that's what i do it's called the binder system and it legit is a binder so this is my binder i use it every day and um so here's what's in it i have my you know little paper calendar and i'll tell you what it might sound funny but i find it so so helpful when I show somebody this right and I I just have like well that that month's not very good but I have like my boxes read it off right I use pink to say okay I'm not available on those days I have green which identifies which are technically my work days and then usually what I'll do is I'll circle the dates that I can actually do parties so if I don't have something booked and when I do have something booked I write it in there and like let people know like I don't have unlimited flexibility but um, I find that that works really well, especially when I say, hey, we've got a couple dates coming up. I have the 9th, the 12th, or the 16th. Uh, which one works better for you? Um, it's amazing how when you actually give people options, they're more likely to choose a date. Anyway, we're sidetracked and that happens to me all the time. But, um, so in my binder, I keep like, you know, my supplies for mailing mail in my cards and stuff like that because I really like to uh, do a lot of hand, handwritten cards. Here, I'm trying to pull this down a little bit. Okay, so, and then I keep uh, information on like chemicals of concern, the, what our newest host rewards are, information about joining. We'll have to have a conversation about that too. Don't be afraid for people to join. Um, and don't be afraid to make the offer. You don't have to be pushy to uh, let people know what an amazing opportunity it is. My hair is doing something very interesting. Anyway, um, I do a lot of vendor events, so I keep my payment information in here. Okay, and then this is the meat of it. This is what it comes down to. So I have a tab for each day of the month. I could not find 30-day tabs. I think they do exist, but I couldn't find them. So I bought uh, three sets of tens and just kind of created my own with a Sharpie because, you know, necessity, invention, I don't know. But what is that? whatever it doesn't matter um so i have that and then in the back i have extra sheets which we're going to talk about in just a second and then i also have my additional months so here's what's going to happen i am going to create and when i was when i was new i did i created one for every single customer so i'm going to create a customer follow-up sheet um, I have these on uh, available on my training link tree and so you're more than welcome to use them if you want to tweak them or whatever feel free to do that too but 
I'm going to fill this out for every person, right? So it's going to have, you know, all their personal information. And then it's going to say, hey, did you offer them the opportunity? Did you invite them to your VIP group? Did you ask them if they want to host? All of those things um, before you put in the binder. Um, because this is going to go in the binder. And it's going to go in basically usually the day after they order. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to date it. I'm going to say, okay, you know, let's say it's uh, February 2nd. So I'm going to say February 3rd, I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to say two weeks later on February 17th, I'm going to do this again. And then at two months, I'm going to say, okay, well, I started on February 3rd. So now I'm going to say March, April 3rd, I'm going to put April 3rd in here. Okay. So I'll put this in the third on the third, I'm going to open up to the three and I'm going to take this out. I'm going to send my text or make my call or send my email or whatever it is that I need to do. And then I'm going to put it back in my little sheet and I'm going to move the whole, the whole little sheet protector, right? That's how I do it. I put it in a little sheet protector. I'm going to take the whole sheet protector and I'm going to put it on the next date that's here on the 17th. After I do it on the 17th, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put it behind my little April tab. And that is how I keep it moving. Um, the customer care, it's, it, it's just super important. And what's going to happen is you're going to have parties and a whole bunch of people are going to order over the weekend or on you know, on Friday or whatever it is. And then Monday morning, you're going to send out the same text message to a whole bunch of people. And then two weeks later, you're going to send the same text message out again. Um, I have verbiage for all of that. I have some host coaching. I have all of that stuff available and you are welcome to it. I'm all about share the love. No reason to recreate anything. And then I also have the same, a similar thing that I use for hosts. This is probably more important, honestly. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going and after I fill this stuff out, I make sure that they I've kind of dealt with everything before I put it in the binder. Um, the day of the party day is the most important. I'm going to put the date in and then I'm going to backtrack and I'm going to say, OK, what needs to happen a couple of days before, a week before, two weeks before, whatever it is. Um, I, it's going to help me stay on track with my host coaching, make sure that people are having the best parties that they can have um, to benefit them and you. I mean, Norwex is amazing that way. It absolutely is going to benefit that. Um, the day after the booking, though, so whether it be that Monday or whatever it is, I am going to just send them a thing. Thank you. Um, and then, you know, a couple weeks before I'm going to start back up with, hey, let's just confirm that this date is still good for you because uh, this is my business. And this actually goes on um, on for two pages, but it's just a great way to stay on track. So I would suggest it to anybody. Uh, if you get any questions, let me know. Bye.